Campbell Allison, center, Little Kern, Ontario. I think I'd have two big things. Uh, the first one would be eat right. Um, and the second one would be don't wait to be great. You know, I think too many times we we wait and we wait and we wait till we feel like it's an opportunity to be great, when in reality all you really gotta do is go out and take it, just go do it. So I think that, those are the two big things for sure. This coaching staff to me has been a renewing of my commitment um, to the school and to um, my team. You know, it, it's been a very big breath of fresh life into me. Uh, I mean, last year I had my struggles, but this year I've found a coaching staff that is supportive, is behind you, cares about you, and really gives you the tools and opportunity to go out and, like I said earlier, to be great, you know? Um, which is, I think, the biggest part for me is, you know, giving me that opportunity to do something I know I could do. Well, that's that's funny because I always used to I always used to make the joke. I never thought I'd actually end up playing center, um, and I always used to make the joke that I wanted to start at least one game just so I could say that I've started every single position on the offensive line while in college. Um, but now it looks like it's going to be happening. Um, I really enjoy it. I love it. Um, it kind of just came about in realizing that um, we had linemen that were playing well um, and that deserved the opportunity to, to be playing. And I was a player that could be moved and shifted because I have played different positions and I'm, you know, capable in that sort of way. But um, I think I would like to think it's mostly because of people like you know Bobby McFadden stepping up and uh, proving in spring ball how valuable he is as a player. Um, that really opted me to get moved a little bit, yeah. I started to grow my, like I have a baby face, so I just, you know, I gotta grow it out. Um, but um, it's more of a family thing for me. Um, but I think I've given the guys some leeway and they are like, well, he can grow a beard, so we might as well, you know. Um, so I think that, you know, I think there's a little bit of involvement there, but I do it mostly because um, I've always wanted to grow a beard. When I was in high school, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna grow a beard if I can, so beard it is this beard it's been trimmed a couple times but it's been since about august so it's my year coming up so yeah awesome you know I, I i think a lot of people worry about it being a cheesy sort of like you know hey yeah we're gonna be tough because that's where we're trying to be instead of it being an actual it's a statement about our team and that we will pay play anybody anywhere um at any time you know as coach says on concrete with glass over it. So um, I think this is more of a statement for us than to anybody else. It, you know, it acts as a reminder, but uh, you know, I think it's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome, I love it. I think it's so cool. No superstitions, but I usually wind up, you know, putting my headphones on and just drowning myself out with some music and um, going into my own little zone. I try to think about the plays that are up and coming. I try to think about um, and visualize what, what I'm about to go through, you know, prepare for battle sort of thing. Best part about being a student here for me um, has been uh, becoming a brother of some of the friends that I've met here. Um, you know, you could have said that, you know, well, you could have done that at a different school, but I don't think there's been a school that's fit me better. Um, I mean, it's a nice, it's a beautiful campus, it's a smaller campus, but like, you get that big school feel without it being too crowded, and um, I'm just blessed to be here for sure. I don't know, you know, I, I, you know, a lot of my teammates believe that I got a great shot in the CFL. Um, I'd like to think that, you know, with some work and, you know, I continue to develop. You know, I'd like to continue to play football, but at this point, I'm just trying to take this day at a day by day by day, just to get better, help this team win. That's my first priority. Well, it helps that, you know, you look over north a wee bit and there, there's the border. Um, I think that helps. But uh, I think there's a little bit of mentality that Canadians can be drawn to here. I think, you know, Canadians oftentimes are, are not discouraged at all to step into an ugly situation or a tough situation and fight it out. I think it's something that I take pride in being Canadian, you know, is where you know, we are tough people. We like to grind her out and we're gritty. So I think, you know, it, it kind of fits our personality a little bit. You know, Detroit's right over there and, um, 
we like to scrap a little bit, so it, uh, I think that helps a little bit. I, I think that does for sure. No, no, you know, I'm gonna live that to the day I die, but uh, um, my, dad's, my dad's gonna forever think, you know, you would've been a great hockey player. <laughs> That wasn't for me, man. I uh, ever since I saw football, I knew that was what I wanted to do.